Growing up, my dad used to make these almost every weekend. These are crispy zucchini fries. Chop your zucchini and then bread it in flour, egg, and panko and fry them up until crispy and golden. And finally, enjoy. Growing up, my mom refused to buy pasta sauce from the store because she believed homemade is healthier. And now I'm going to show you my mom's 15-minute creamy pasta that she taught me. Boil your pasta and in a separate pan, combine garlic, chili flakes, onions, and your three main herbs, oregano, basil, and rosemary. Next, add in tomato paste, sugar, and milk as shown on the screen. Whatever cheese you like, I used ricotta. Then use some of that pasta water to thicken your sauce. Add in your pasta and you're done. It's so easy. And that's why. You've never tried eggs like this before. It's both crispy and cheesy. Whisk an egg with soy sauce and garlic salt, then grab your tortilla roti, pour over that egg, add whatever toppings you like, flip it twice, then add over cheese, coriander, roll it up, and enjoy. You've never tried a sandwich like this before. Mm. Grab your bread, slice it in half, and hollow it out in the center. Now for the filling, combine garlic, onions, some ground meat, oregano, basil, pizza sauce, chili powder with some bell peppers, and about a cup of ricotta. Then mix that up and add it to your bread. Top that off with some cheese and pepper, then bake at 375 for 10 minutes, and finally enjoy. This authentic fried rice will blow you away. It's so good, I could eat this every day. To a pan, add some chili garlic oil, a medium onion, toss that together with your vegetables of choice. I added broccoli and carrots. For the sauce, add in soy sauce, oyster sauce, and chili paste, and then stir that together with your rice. And that's why. Story time! So me and my friends finally got a reservation at Toronto's most hyped rooftop patio. And yeah, the food is good, but what you're really paying for here is the stunning views. My only question is, would you bring your friends here? This is dal makhani, a traditional dish from India, and literally translates to creamy and buttery lentils. And today I'm passing this recipe to you. So you're gonna combine ginger garlic paste with some spices, tomato paste, dal, water, of course butter, a little more garam masala, and let that simmer with a lot of cream. Then serve this up with some rice and enjoy. After years of practice, my mom perfected the art of making palak paneer. And today I'm gonna show you her recipe. To a large pot, add in cumin with a bunch of spices, garlic, onions, ginger, tomato paste, one bunch of rapini, two bunches of spinach, let that reduce, and then blend that up. Separately, dice and sear your paneer till it's golden. Then in that same pot, add garam masala, salt, pour in that gravy, and paneer, then plate it up and enjoy. These spicy peanut noodles will transport you to heaven. To a pan, add some chili garlic oil and a medium onion. Then for the sauce, combine sriracha, soy sauce, oyster sauce, chili paste, peanut butter, and water as shown on the screen. Add in your preferred veggies and let that simmer for five minutes. Then add in your noodles and that's why.